All right, y'all, listen, welcome back to the channel. I got to get right into this video, y'all, because a lot is going down, y'all. First of all, be sure to hit the like button, hit the share button. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button. I'm literally panicking right now how fast this is happening. Everything just immediately like, took a huge turn today. And y'all, I'm just, I'm, I'm spinning right now. Like, it's going crazy. I'm about to just, oh, y'all, I'm trying to slow down. I'm, trying, I'm literally trying to, I'm about to literally lose my mind, y'all. It's just, I can't believe this is happening right now. Y'all, give me a minute. Catch my breath, because this is, oh, God. Guys, I think I've done it. I think I may have found one of the most obnoxious YouTube channels, family YouTube channels, there are on this platform. I don't think it was possible to beat the likes of McFive 5 Circus, um, Dockety Dozen to a certain degree, Sakoni Jolies. Nope, nope. These guys hit it out of the park. Between them, you know, grifting for extra baby things, lying about the literal unalivements, of one of their children we have these kind of videos which are promoting violence to their very 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 young children um and it just goes on we have um i've just given birth i've not just given birth i've lost a baby she's losing a baby none of which are true they try and keep people in this weird timeline so that you're never quite sure what is actually happening because you can't even say that to a true family member if you ain't locked in on all of our other platforms as well because we be dropping fire banger content all this time all this time they are begging for people to like comment subscribe they got baby registries for supposedly babies that didn't even exist anyway honestly i'm gonna break some of it down but these guys are taking the absolute biscuit and i'm not the only one there are a flock of people out there who cannot stand this channel we're going to be passing out yeah in front of the kids to see what the reaction is going to be like i'm curious because like i don't know everybody has different responses so i'm curious to see like what is their response gonna be like? This is gonna be so funny. Yeah. I cannot wait. Like, so it's oh gonna God. be hilarious, y'all. So we're gonna we're gonna set the camera up. We'll probably do since it's about four of them. I'm gonna set up probably two camera angles. So now i'm just gonna talk about a few things that i have found this is by no means a deep dive these are just some things that i do find concerning which i don't think should be on this platform i think these two should be pretty ashamed of themselves for basically latching on to people's good nature um for some easy cash because that is honestly the way that i think about it so i'm just going to go through a couple of bits if there's anything else you want me to know if there's anything else you want me to cover with these guys send me a message on instagram or just just let me know down below um because you can't get to everything but i just want to draw your attention to these two so this is mahogany and this is justin and they have i think they have one two they have two sets of twins they had another baby last year as well and they supposedly they're trying to make us believe they're trying to make us believe that they've got one on the way when in actual fact everyone is pretty damn sure they've already had this baby and they're just still milking the fact that they want people to send stuff to their baby registry honestly you think you think i'm lying about this it just goes it gets even deeper so what's happened right so last year there was this great big giant hubbub because these guys already have two sets of twins so they have one set of twins they then got pregnant again they then had another set of twins okay so that's four kids in total so what then happened is they then went okay and there is speculation and this is what made it blow up in the very first place that they were baiting they said we're having our third set of twins here are the thumbnails third set third set third set this is what happened when mahogany gave birth what's going on guys welcome back to the jacksons of atlanta youtube channel guys listen um, i'm your boy justin and i'm Harvey. uh guys do me a big favor hit the subscribe button turn on the post notifications uh, make sure you comment down below what you do. Uh, listen, this is one of the oh, hardest videos that we have ever had to do. Are, are we are we talking about the same video? If this is true, you have just lost one of your one of your sets of twins. You're asking people to like, comment, and subscribe at the beginning, and you're also I didn't show it because it's absolutely unbearable. This this little theme track thing that they have at the very beginning um what i know everyone grieves differently but this is really quite something um, and i know that people are going to have things to say and um people are going to judge us and it's just a lot for me emotionally right now um but i know people are going to say well it's your fault or 
this is what you get or just different things. And we're just asking for just positivity in the comments. Especially during this time. Um, and we know that we have genuine supporters that do love us and um, we feel you guys love and we appreciate your love. Um, yeah, guys, we do. Uh, we understand that we do um, with anything in life. They, they, you know, with the success, it comes um, a lot of haters. Um, but we know there's a whole team of people, um, regardless what happens, always supporting us, always loving on us. Um, and you know, we thank God for you guys. And and just to let you guys know, at no point during this did they actually explain that they have in fact lost one of their twins. It just so says it in the title. And here they are basically saying, well, you know, we have a lot of fans, but a lot of people don't like us. So, you know, that that's unfortunate. It's like, if this is true and this has just happened to you, who, like, why are you trying to convince people? What? Like, it, no, it doesn't make any sense. And the acting, I'm sorry hands off i'm not i'm not going for it what i think happened is that they wanted to have a third set of twins so they click baited it which is what a lot of other people think as well they click baited it and then they they knew full well and before this they were on their registry they were begging for people to send them stuff so they get like double the amount of things honestly it's absolutely wild they then came out with a separate video do me a big favor right now hit the subscribe button turn on that post notification bell and guys when you do make sure you comment what down below so we can shout you out guys just want to say thank you um so much to you guys thank you to our team um who has just kept the whole jackson of atlanta moving for us during this time so what I'm going to do is just jump straight to the comment sections of these videos. I'm just going to read some out. It's morally reprehensible to pretend you are having a third set of twins for months while milking doubles of gifts and donations from the good-hearted and generous folks who follow you. You know, people would have liked the Jacksons whether you were having one baby or two because they liked your story. I don't know why you didn't have the maturity to trust that and as an added slap in the face you announce a baby's loss using the line we are not having twins anymore asking for prayers and slamming haters who called you out for playing them for months having had a family member who lost a baby your time in a hospital would have been sadly planning a memorial and choosing a casket for your angel and this this is the thing there was it's excruciatingly hard to believe and even with this video straight after titling it the same thing it makes it and there's there's no I, you shouldn't trust people by the way they grieve but there is zero grieving going on over here thing is is that these two clickbait things going wrong all the time they literally did a video saying we've lost the baby which is i'm gonna put it up right here they do these kind of videos all the time in a bid to get views and people people see straight through it they will go to whatever lengths to get views so this coming from anyone else i would think oh my gosh shock horror this is completely beyond their capability but these two clickbait this kind of stuff all the time they then did a third video with mahogany's mum where they were like something about third set of twins and they didn't even discuss it once again clickbaiting it but not even discussing it um if you actually had lost a child there is no way on earth you would be doing this well, this morning, I'm gonna even start with that. I'm gonna tell y'all, welcome back to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, but it is early. Like, yeah, I've been up all night and like my stomach been cramping really bad. And then I've been like having like this chest pain. I don't know why I'm having chest pain. And so it's like been a chest pain all night. So that was this uh, this video, which was four, four months ago, which was after their whole scandal of did they, did they not, we lost the twin, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm doing it again, we lost our baby, which by the way, this turned out to be like a gallbladder infection or something like that, which people obviously picked up on. People were absolutely furious. I mean, these guys have literally done like, you know, her falling down the stairs, really, really pregnant. They will go to whatever level. And I might sound really enraged, right? But when you're talking, about um losing children when you're talking about bereavement of a child during birth or anything to do with that for you to consistently make light of that 
um, I think is absolutely disgusting. And people buy it. People buy into this. I mean, there's a lot of people that call them out. But I think a lot of them are literal children. They're like, oh, I'm pressed. Da -da 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 -da. And it's like, this is really, this is below. This is, this is disgusting. Like, these guys should not have this YouTube channel. A, the family vloggers, and they, they really, really do exploit that. I'm not going to get too far on to what, what they're showing about their kids because that could be a separate video. But these guys, well and truly, um, they, they're grifters. They lie. They are liars. They're grifters. They clickbait the fact they're losing kids. They're, they're going into, they're going into labor. They're not. And the thing is, is that it's not even, it's a straight up lie and it's grifting and it's using people's goodwill. Um, it's exploiting people's goodwill. And I think that is shameless. I think that's shameless. I really honestly do. I don't understand why no one else is talking about this family because there's just red flags all over. Oh, we are not going to be able to make it to the hospital. I literally tried to get her in the car and I could not get her in the vehicle, y'all. This is insane. I'm going to give some airtime to more comments saying, if you lost a baby like you're leading people to believe, you would still have had a third set of twins, just like I still have three babies. Yes, they are angel babies, but they still had a heartbeat. I think this is an amazing point, actually. Replied with, they never had three sets. It was one child from the beginning, but they use their platform to trick subs for views money. These people are sick in the head, seriously. And then someone else said they would have been named. This is all, honestly, 100% truth where's the lie where is the lie going on over here clout chases i'm gone by never getting my time again especially because you're not saying you lost a baby that didn't exist look at everyone in the comments saying prayers and saying sorry for a loss that didn't and hasn't been confirmed you all did this for views and for clout um this is a massive consensus hence the reason why these guys don't really get a lot of views anymore um our baby died but first like and subscribe the f people saying they were never pregnant with the third set of twins yes trying to act all emotional knowing it was never twins and then they've basically been going around deleting the comments now could this be all a massive facade you know we're in the wrong it was actually it did actually happen and they really did go through this terribly awful thing okay i get that everyone's gonna be grieving differently i do understand that however these guys keep like kept on clickbaiting it they kept on going after it um they clickbaited it uh with mahogany's mum. they then clickbaited it a little while after saying you know telling you the truth da 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 and you have to remember, and I keep on bringing it up, the amount of times that they have clickbaited their children getting hurt, getting spanked, they'll do anything it takes to, to earn that money. And it's really quite shocking to see, especially when you see the way that some of their content revolving around their kids um, and their kind of glamorization of being physical with their children. <laughs> We, we, we about to get this boy up for adoption. We about to get this boy up for adoption. You hear me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Cause it's, 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 I don't, we don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's just, it's gotten ridiculous. But he in here sleeping now, y'all. Let me see in his chair. Um, I'm gonna take him downstairs so we can see mama. You probably need to be changed too. Let me see if I can get you up. Ah, daddy got you. Woo, daddy got you. Look, and like I understand that parents sometimes you can accidentally, you know, you're holding a child slightly the wrong way, like, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But what why are you picking a newborn baby up like that? Like I'm not saying newborn, newborn, but they're pretty new. And you've literally just picked them up with one hand unsupported the unsupported the head and flung them up to your shoulder because you couldn't be bothered to put the camera down. And you can pause and read these comments. So many of them are saying that is literally a trip to the ER. What are you doing? Why are you holding your baby like that? Pretty much all because you didn't want to put the vlogging camera down. And the thing is, right, I hate saying this about even family channels in a way because i don't like it it's so hard to be, to even believe that there are people out there that will just have kids solely for content but these guys these guys found a trend in the fact that they had a had a set of twins and then had another set of twins and they're always having more kids and if they're not having more kids they're then like doing these weird prank uh prank videos that they also do with their children i've seen a couple of them one of them definitely springs to mind where it's this they're basically like passing out like fake passing out in front of their kids it's like the one where i just showed the thumbnails of them you know like 
spanking their kids, for instance, um, you know, pranking them in that kind of way. And it's like every single thing for content, which I know, I get it, a family channel. And it's something I cannot stand and something that shouldn't be allowed on the internet. But like being pregnant and having kids and then, you know, recording the pranks and all of that kind of stuff is literally what their whole channel is. It is exactly what their channel is. There's no other real substance to it. Um, and that is really quite sad. Yo, we're going to be passing out. Yeah. In front of the kids. To see what the reaction is going to be like, I'm curious because you know that, I don't know, everybody has different responses. So I'm curious to see like, what is their response going to be like? This is going to be so funny. Yeah. I cannot wait. Like, So it's oh going to be hilarious, y'all. So we're going we're gonna to set the camera up. We'll probably do since it's about four of them. I'm going to set up probably two camera angles so y'all can see. I mean, call me old fashioned, but I just don't get pleasure or happiness from watching my little kids get upset because you're pulling pranks on them like both of you pretending to pass out they're so young they're not gonna get that i mean it's just it's just bonkers to me and they're both like oh it'd be so funny the result wasn't very funny though was it i just don't f like i don't get it and it's you know it's horrible for your little kids I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be the, it was the best moment, the best moment because it's a beautiful day to do a prank on your girl. Hey y'all, I'm going to be filling a Windex bottle. I'm gonna be cleaning it out and filling it up with with Gatorade, y'all. I'm gonna be filling the bottle up with Gatorade um, and I'm gonna be squirting it into the twins' mouth, y'all. So it, this is about to be insane, y'all. It's about to be insane. And for anyone that's interested, yes, he did go ahead with this with this prank. Yes, people were absolutely furious because, I mean, you shouldn't be doing this. Those kids are so young. I, why am I explaining this? I'm just going to give it a go anyway. If you're going to be doing that and you're going to be treating cleaning products and things like bleach, really chemically nasty stuff, which you are told to keep away from your kids. If you're playing a little prank and squirting it into their mouths, they might think to do that with one of their siblings. But this time it won't be Gatorade. It will be the real thing. It will be bleach. It could literally kill a child. It's something that you are told and you're taught about. But these guys, I mean, quite literally, there's like, I, I, mm, I'm going to have to log off. I mean, I feel like I don't, I feel like I don't even bother need to, need to explain it. I got recommended. Can you please go check these guys out? Because no one's really covering them at the minute. I went and checked them out and I just can't believe that no one is talking about it because they're seriously problematic. Like Muck 5 Circus standard problematic. Um, and I'm going to keep my little eye on them because they've been around for a little while and they don't seem to be slowing down and the stuff that they're putting out is just, it's not good. And it is a cause for concern. Like it is, it is a cause for concern. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.